this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, good morning, Polly Reindeer, and good morning, Fizzy Elephant. Yes, you are there, good. Right, everyone's here, ready to play the Can You Catch the Egg on Your Face game. I will throw the egg in five, four, better run, Fizzy, three, <laughs> two, one. Right, I'm thrown up in the air. Who is it going to hit? Who is going to be the winner and have egg on their face? It's Polly! Well done, Polly! You now smell like egg. Congratulations. <laughs> anyway, this isn't a normal day in my lovely world. If you didn't know, this day marks the 10-year anniversary of when I started my lovely world. Yes, I really have been doing that for this long. So, to celebrate, I'm building a monument over by my igloo, which is the spawn of my world. So, uh, helpers, I know you've got some of the materials ready. Do you want to head over there and get prepared? I will We'll do my other beginning morning rituals and then go and join you. So first I'm gonna eat my cake. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. And then I'm gonna go and grab Barnaby from the little loft up here. And before I go and head to the doghouse, I am gonna do something that I've been doing for pretty much the full 10 years that I've been doing my lovely world. And that is, of course, adding someone's name to a sign in my love garden. There are a lot more signs now than when I first started this place. Uh, but yeah, the person I'm adding to my love garden today is Baron Claws. And that is for this amazing artwork they did of me doing what I just did. And that is, of course, eating cake. I just love the style and just the expression on my face and the little glasses as well. So thank you for doing that and welcome to my love garden. Right then, so seeing as this is the 10 year special, it would feel wrong for me just to choose one single dog to join us. So I'm going to have all of the uh, the dogs joining us. So Barnaby, make sure you uh, keep up and, uh, and join me because yeah, it would just kind of feel wrong if I had some of the dogs joining me today, but not all of them. And oh, why is there a minecart track here of my helpers been building something at all. Oh no, it's Fever Dash. It's Fever Dash. Oh, I should have expected that we're going to try and do something today. Right, Barnaby, come out here. Come out here quick, Barnaby. You sit down there and you stay there. I don't want you getting involved with whatever is going on in there. I need you to stay safe, but I need to protect my dogs. And it's Fever Dash and she's wearing iron armor. What are they doing? And oh no, hit the target here as well. And he's wearing never right armor. He's trying to get away. I've got to shoot him. I've got to shoot him with the arrow. Oh, it's going to do like no damage with that armor. Um, Maybe there's more minecarts. Okay, there are. There's more minecarts in the chest. Right, Fever Dash, you stay back. If anything happens to my dogs, I know you're to blame, but I need to go off to hit the target. He is the one coming up with the plans. I need to stop him, whatever he's trying to do. And what is this? They've been building a, a secret minecart track all of this time, right under my nose. There's no way they could have built all of this just this morning. And, and what was that noise when I got into the minecart? I can't, I can't move. I can't get out. Look, I'm pressing the button. I can't get out the minecart. I've been trapped in here somehow. Was this part of their plan to trap me in here? It looks like because the dogs won't follow them, they built this whole track to try and get them to. Yes, it leads straight to the castle. Maybe they were trying to sneakily get all of my dogs without me noticing, or maybe I was meant to jump in the minecart and this was all part of their plan. Either way, this is not good. I know whatever's at the end of this minecart track is not going to end well for me. And I think hit the target's probably there. I would have seen him if he tried to run anywhere. No, yes, he's there. He's on the minecart track as well. Oh, look, the minecart track, it's like circles around the castle. What is the point of all of this stuff? But this does at least give me a chance to take him out. That's the only way this is going to end properly. If I'm able to completely take him out and ruin whatever evil plan hit the target and Viva Dash are trying to do. They're always going after my dogs. I should have really seen that they're going to do it today. But I'm just out of control. I can't stop moving. And I'm just stuck inside of this minecart. Right. Where is he? Oh, he's not here. Oh, oh, this is the end of the track. I've got, I've got stuck in some sort of cage. I can't get up. I can't stand up. I'm just stuck in here. I wonder, can I like push the minecart? I can. Okay. So at least I can move the minecart back and forth. I just can't get out the minecart, but where did hit the target go? I've left all of my dogs at the doghouse. I don't think I should have done that. It's just me now stuck in this minecart track. And oh, oh, there he is. Okay. This is my chance. This is my chance to shoot him. Let's see if I can hit him. Yes. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. I need to get him loads though. He's got the never right arm. But that was another good shot. Oh yes. Oh yes. For once I'm actually aiming well while I'm trying to shoot him. And it's good because it's really difficult for him to hit a moving target. So maybe even even though he is good with a bow and arrow, he's going to keep missing me. And oh, oh there's other, there's other minecarts. Were, were they just empty minecarts coming? Or was that Viva Dash trying to follow up behind us to try and uh, take us out? I don't know, but either way, oh no, it's my dogs. 
all of my dogs are here. Oh, and Vivi Dash is here as well. That was their plan. They're going to go try and get all of the dogs here. Okay, I need to keep them safe. All I can do is stay in my minecart and shoot as many arrows as I can. As I said, I can't jump out the minecart. They've locked me in here somehow. I wonder if it's the same for my dogs. Anyway, let's go. Oh, no. Hit the target's right there. He's right there. Oh, what was that? Oh, he tried to switch the switch. He was trying to switch the minecart round. Okay, maybe if I get back in, I can try and do some serious damage against him. But he was trying to send me off in a different direction rather than going down into the cage. And there he is. And oh, no, he did it. He's changed the direction. Where am I going? Oh, I'm leaving the I'm leaving the castle. Oh, no, this leads to the lava. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get dropped down into the lava. I'm going to die. Oh, no. It's okay. There's another track underneath. But oh, no, this is full of lava as well. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh, I've gone back into the castle. And oh, there's a sign. Hello, Stampy. Welcome to my lovely castle. And then does this button move me? It does. It moves me across. And there's another sign. It says, make yourself comfy. You won't be leaving. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Right, let's press the button again, see if there's any more signs. And there is. It says, if you're here, then your dogs are already in my control. And oh no, he's absolutely right. I'm stuck down here. One final thing. I killed Gregory. What? I thought, I thought Gregory was killed by a skeleton. And oh look, is this meant to be my house? And that's meant to be him and then the bones, Gregory. I can't look. I can't look. I've got to press the button. Oh, no. I'm into darkness. And the spiders. Oh, no. The spiders. There's a spider spawner right here. All of the spiders are attacking me. And I'm stuck here in the minecart. I still can't get out. I, I need to put a torch down. I can't see at all what is going on in this room. It is so dark right now. There we go. Okay, I can see. But unfortunately, what I can see is not very good. Let's try and take out all of these spiders. Did hit the target really kill Gregory? Is he telling the truth? I only saw Gregory get hit by an arrow when I was going in the house and I just assumed it was a skeleton, but was it hit the target all along? I need to keep my dog safe. I need to get out of here and I need to save my dogs, but I can't get out the minecart. I can't do anything to get out of it. Normally I could just jump out of it. I need to find some way to break it. And I know, could I use the lava? Look, I'm here down underneath a giant lava lake, right? If I can break my way through these bars and the wall on the other side, maybe I could get it so the lava flows through, breaks the minecart, but doesn't immediately kill me. But this is going to be very dangerous because I can't get out the minecart. If it doesn't break it, I won't be able to move to be able to run away. So I need to be ready to jump out as soon as I can if this works. And oh no, the lava's not flowing. Oh, it is. It is. The lava's coming. And yes, it broke it. Okay, I'm out. I'm free. I'm out of the minecart. Right, I need to get up this ladder as fast as I can. They still have all of my dogs stuck in those minecarts. And oh no, this isn't the room I wanted to go to. I do not like that room. That has horrible memories. And oh, they're right there. They're just standing around. They weren't expecting me. They must have thought I'd still be stuck in the minecart. And look, they're going to a dead end. They're going up the tower. There's nowhere for them to escape to. And oh, they've gone. They've just disappeared. Where did they go? How have they just disappeared so fast? Oh, no, no. Okay, they're just down there. Okay, I still have a good chance to be able to try and catch them here. And oh, no, Viva Dash has a potion. I think that's a harming potion. Do I still have my minecart on me? Yes, I do. I still got my minecart. I can put this down and I can chase after them. I know exactly where the minecart's going to go. It only has one direction to go to, right back to my doghouse, where I can trap them and actually have a good chance to get them. But why am I going so slow? Why is the minecart going so slow? No, look. Oh, they bounce back. Viva Dash is coming back after me. Hit the target seemed to send Viva Dash after me. Now she's trying to get me with some uh, some potions. I need to try and take her out. I need, I need to try and get I can use the bow and arrow. She's just out of my sword range. And oh, oh, I broke the minecart. She's dropped. She's disappeared. But I can still go and chase after hit the target. But this is the slowest minecart in the world. I can't go any faster. Wait a minute. I'd probably be faster just running. I can jump out. I can just go and chase after him. But I can see him there. He's still riding in the minecart. It's going so slow. I can probably just chase after him on foot and be able to, to catch him. And oh no, of oh, the spiders. He's got more of his spider minions in the way. And oh no, there's a creeper. There's a creeper. Okay, at least that took out the, the spiders. But there's too many googlies. There's googlies absolutely everywhere around here. I need to be fast. I gotta leave them. I just gotta run after hit the target. I don't know where he's gone. I think, did he? I think he jumped out his minecart. Yeah, look, there's his minecart. He's just running back to the, the house. And that's where Barnaby is over there. I need to try and catch him as fast as I can but if he's running he's got a good lead on me I gotta be so careful here but this is finally a good chance to get him but oh no I just thought Viva Dash is back at the castle Viva Dash is back at the castle with all my dogs. You know what? I can't leave them. I'm, I'm closer to the castle. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go back and get Barnaby in a bit. Viva Dash is still here. And all of these dogs are stuck in minecarts, bouncing around above a giant pit of lava. I got to get them out of there as fast as possible. But I got to be careful because Viva Dash could still be around here. She dropped down from the track and landed by the front of the castle. And I don't know if she's trying to guard the dogs or whether she's going to go back to hit the target. So I need to literally expect absolutely anything. But as always, 
my number one priority is the safety of my dogs. And my dogs are in serious danger right now. Right, where are they? Oh, oh, they're all still bouncing around. Okay, looks like they're all still in their minecart tracks. Are they in the cage? Oh, there's only one in the cage. Right, I need to destroy all of these minecart tracks because hopefully they're all just bang into each other. And I won't be very comfortable, but they should all end up down here with me. So Secret's the only one that actually ended up in the, the cage. I'll break them out the minecarts in a little bit. I've got to be so careful about that. Hopefully all of the other dogs should still be bouncing around here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I need to break these minecart tracks. Oh, this is getting really close to the lava. We're running out of room. Okay, let's break away all of these tracks. Make sure they're not going to keep banging into each other. And then I guess if I just wait here, they should all start coming down. So all right, let's start getting them out the minecart tracks. So I'm going to punch just with... Of anything else and then if the minecart wriggles i know i'll be safe to then use the diamond sword because this is an enchanted diamond sword i do not want to hit any of my dogs oh no no oh no i just nearly hit into that dog i'm gonna be so careful and there's a spider jockey there's a spider jockey down here oh there's a lot of googlies it looks like it's about to become day so fingers crossed we will have no more drama from the the googlies but we're still far from safe yet there's a big build up of dogs here by the entrance and this is dangerous because this is right by the lava so tell you what let's go back here and try and get all of the the dogs as far away from that entrance as possible right so benton you sit down there right duncan let's see if we can uh, get you right back over here and then have a clear space for the rest of the dogs but where are the rest of the dogs i thought they'd have been coming down by now we're missing we're missing two we're missing two more dogs apart from barnaby there should be two more dogs around here on the tracks and oh okay there's one there i can't see who that is but there should be one other dog somewhere on these tracks we have one dog missing but they're not here let, let, let's follow down this dog going all the way down the track because if they bounce back then we know the dog's going to be somewhere but oh no that's the end that's the entrance there's another dog missing and oh no Duncan's by the edge oh no no they're both there okay Flippy was there Flippy must have got past me I didn't realise but I've got to be careful here let's build in a few more blocks here under Duncan just to make sure he won't fall down I need to get Duncan just way out of the way so tell what Duncan you come over here and you sit down you walk in a straight line okay good boy you stay there I'm going to go and try and get Luna and Flippy out of their mine carts so, alright let's be really careful right Flippy you stay still I don't want to hit you you and oh no oh i missed i missed i'm sorry stay for flippy it's okay it's okay i won't hurt you okay there we go they're all out uh right we've got to get over the bridge okay i'm gonna have to stand them all up and we're all gonna run over all at the same time everyone stay watching me and please run in an exact straight line oh this is so dangerous it's right over the lava bridge i hate this all right everyone stay looking at me run in a straight line and yes oh they all did it oh my dogs are so good okay right everyone follow me we need to get back to the house barnaby is still over at the house i'm hoping that hit the target in viva dash don't know that he was there and just have gone off and just realized that their plan has failed and they have no chance to ever beat me and they're just going to give up forever. I mean, that's best case scenario. And go, are you far? Oh, they're all getting stuck in the in the flowing water down there. Yeah, all of this effort I go to to keep my dog safe. And <laughs> I swear, it's, it's more stress than it's worth. And of course, I am joking, guys. I absolutely love you. Right, you're going to teleport. There we go. Okay, are they all here? Okay, I think there's a couple of them back there in the water, but they'll probably teleport a little bit later on, as often so happens in my lovely world. They'll teleport when they decide to, to do it. At least I know they're all away from the lava, and they're all safe, and- Oh no! It's hit the target in Viva Dash! They've come back to finish the job! They haven't given up! They're still trying to attack us! Okay, dogs, we're gonna have to go and try and fight them all as a big team, and oh! Wait a minute, that- that's not hit the target in Viva Dash, that's William and Polly! And oh, Fizzy's here as well, what are you doing here? Oh yeah, the monument! We were going to build the monument here. Um, guys, stay here and look after the dogs. There's some back at the castle, but they should all be okay. I need to go after Hit the Target and Viva Dash for real because Barnaby is still over at the doghouse. As I said, they didn't know where he was. Fingers crossed Barnaby didn't bark and stayed quiet and they have no idea that he is there. But I'm getting really worried. Even though the rest of my other dogs are safe, Hit the Target and Viva Dash ran back over here and I have no idea where they've gone since then. I need to be once again ready for anything they're gonna throw at me so let's get my hunger up fully ready i got my diamond sword i got my armor on i'm prepared to go two versus one just to try and deal with them and oh they're not here no barnaby what are these what are these weird bubbles what, what noise are you making are you okay barnaby hello are you okay oh okay no barnaby's all right okay you just weren't really acting yourself for a second there we did it we did it all of the dogs are safe I can't believe after everything we've been through today, every single dog is safe. 
But I also can't believe what Hit the Target said. Did he really kill Gregory? My first ever dog in Minecraft all those years ago? And you know what? I love Gregory and I think about him all the time. But whether he was killed by Hit the Target or a skeleton doesn't change anything. And I won't let Hit the Target and Viva Dash's evil antics ruin my 10th anniversary special. I will break away this minecart though, because I've had enough of seeing minecarts. Right, Barnaby, you go sit down here with these dogs. I think there's a few more that still need to teleport towards us, but they're away from the lava. All of my helpers are here. I said at the start of the episode, I want to build my special monument to mark 10 years of my lovely world. And that hasn't changed. So where should I build? I was going to build it up on that hill, but I might build it here just so I've got a bit more space. And then I can always move it around if I want to change it a little bit later on, because that's what I always end up doing. So yeah, this monument, uh, I guess I'll tell you what it is that we're building. Sorry, I've been a bit distracted up until now. It's kind of hard to go straight into building something, but luckily it's quite simple. So I was thinking, what would be a good thing to build to mark 10 years? of Stampy's lovely world. And I went for a bunch of different designs and materials. And then in the end, I decided I have to do the most Stampy style building possible. So we're building it out of colorful wool and it's going to be the Stampy style colors. So we're going to have the uh, the orange and then the white stripe down the, the middle. We are going to try and make it look quite fancy and I am going to be doing something special later on to mark each year that we've had in my lovely world. But let's get the uh, the outside done. So that's the, the stripe up the middle. And then on either side here, I'm going to do uh, two little, um, I guess, flourishes is a nice way to, to put it. So I'm just basically going to build like up and out on either side here. And it does a little bit look like a sword. And that wasn't intentional. That's just kind of the way it ended up looking. But I think it looks quite cool. Uh, I think it's a, a good way to represent 10 years of me building in Minecraft. So if I think if I tried to build something completely different and unlike anything else I've built, it just kind of wouldn't fit in and wouldn't be a good representation of the, the kind of things that I've been building in Minecraft over the, uh, the last 10 years that I've been playing and... Um yeah, building stuff here in my lovely world. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to add something at the back here. I'm just going to build up a little bit. I just want it to be a little bit more rounded because the uh, the back kind of just looked quite flat. So I'm just going to kind of build up a little bit here. I don't have uh, the most amount of orange walls. I tell you what, if I just do these last blocks up here, uh, helpers, could one of you come around and uh, finish off the, uh, the back of that area there? And uh, I'm going to go and start putting in some of this uh, glass at the, the front. And then in the, the glass is going to be what I was saying, how I'm going to mark each year. Basically, I've done so many things over each single year. It kind of seems weird to kind of try and uh, represent them all in one monument. So I was trying to think what block or item could I have 10 of to mark each year? And I kind of thought like, oh, I could have a different block for each year for what block that was added. But in the end, there was obviously only one right option for what I should do for each year, and that is cakes. So for every year I've spent doing my lovely world in Minecraft, I'm going to place down a cake for the monument. So this cake is for year one. Here's Stampy's lovely world. My beautiful home. I've got a little wolf, which I've decided to name Gregory. Stampy's love garden. Oh, he's done a little heart. I killed Hit the Target. I think this is Agatha the Creeper. I can hear the engine starting. There's the thrusters and we've taken off. This cake is for year two. I can see his boat up ahead of us. But he's lucky fish. Yes! Hey, hello. What's going on here? There's... There's two aliens and a cow on my chicken poop. Look, the submarine's moving. This cake is for year three. Yay! I got a zombie villager. Well, a villager now, no longer a zombie. We're going to begin to rise and here we go. We're flying over my lovely world. This cake is for year four. Oh no, he's setting fire to my house. He's setting fire to my house. It's a beaver. I didn't even realize you're a beaver. Oh, is this you? Are you Polly? Hello, you, you must be busy elephant. I need to try and take out these last few. I've already got half a heart. Look, everyone, there's a, there's a little baby horse up here. Polly reindeer is using the snowballs of doom. This cake is for year five. Hit the targets attacking Barnaby. No, hit the target, took out Barnaby. And then we can add someone to the brand new love garden. This cake is for year six. My only option is to sit here and wait and hope that somebody out there saw what happened and would be able to come and rescue me, but who? It's an evil polybot. I need to go and try and take it out, but no. This cake is for year seven. But oh look, she just got pushed by a zombie. Where is the justice in one more elephant in prison for a chicken related crime? This cake is for year eight. Hit the target. And who's that standing next to hit the target? Why is this place? Hello, 
this is Stampy and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. This cake is for year nine. Why can he still attack me but I can't attack him? What can I do? I'm swinging my sword but I can't hit anything and... What? One more arrow, one more arrow, we're doing this! I did it! I destroyed the Ender <laughs> Dragon! What's going on? What's going on with the sky? Fizzy, can you see this? And this cake is for year 10. I've decided to call this axolotl Dottle. Has he gone in? Oh, he has! He chased me into it! <laughs> He's stuck inside of the tower. You know what? I am absolutely happy with this, and I hope uh, uh, all of you uh, are, are happy with it uh, as well. So there we go, 10 cakes, each one representing a different year I spent in my lovely world. So now all I'm going to do is fill up the front with this white stained glass, and you'll see that I just about have room for another cake at the top, possibly even two. But there we go, there we have it, and oh, thank you Polly, that was a, a more gentle landing. There's my monument done and my 10 year special completed. So whether you join me from year number one, or you only just discovered me recently, thank you for being part of the fun and adventure here in my lovely world. It's been absolutely the best time of my life. But sadly, that is the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. All I need to do now is thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!